is my brother. Shut up! Josh. <laughs> yeah, hold it right there. Hold it where you got it. Okay, good. So you, you're getting you getting from the belly button up? Yeah. Above my head. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Where's my where's my where's uh right here? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Ready? Go ahead. Hi everybody. How you doing? It's Will and Josh. Hello. And uh, we're uh, going to do another installment of the One Way Ride. We're lo in lovely Fountain here. Fountain, uh, <laughs> we're in lovely Fountain Hills, Arizona. This is very much an, an experiment of in the raw. It's in your face. It's very edgy. It's very real. Um, we're gonna. You're gonna see all the all the stuff that happens because none of us are perfect. This is not a reality show. This is what I like to call a documentary life show. Because life is messed up. And we're all, we're all in this journey together. We come to different crossroads at different times. But most importantly, it's what's in your heart. So I believe that myself, as well as Josh, we have something to share with you. Come along for the ride. Enjoy the ride. But most importantly, listen to the message. We'll see you on the road. Josh. Hey. <laughs> hey, we're over here at Lookout Point, uh, right off Shea and Palisades here in Fountain Hills, Arizona. It's an awesome place, awesome, beautiful area. You see before me um, a place that's always been Lookout Point. You can look out, you can see for miles, you can see the uh, lights of the city at night. It's pretty cool. So um, I just wanted to share something with you. Uh, early on this morning, I was getting ready to uh, start my day. And uh, it was so funny because I went to put a shirt on. Put the shirt on and I noticed my collar was a little dirty. I'm one of those guys that likes to get like, you know, two to three different wearings out of a shirt or maybe a pair of slacks that have been dry clean. It's just the way I've always been. When I was in the military, it was the same way. I'd usually wear my BDUs twice before having to re-dry dry, re -dry clean those BDUs, those same BDUs. So, as I was putting the shirt on this morning, it was really kind of funny because I had this thought to myself, have you ever put on something that was dirty? Have you ever worn something that was filthy, that didn't smell right, <sighs> didn't look right, didn't look clean? And you knew it had to be cleaned. Well, that brings up an interesting point, and I'll be right back with that point.
Well, hopefully you're having a great day, a blessed day. Josh and I are on the road doing some riding on this beautiful Sunday, April 17th, 2011. What a blessing it is to be alive. We're, we're here in uh, Fountain, Hills, Fountain Hills, Arizona, as I said before. And um, I just want to remind you that this is something that's an experiment. It's very raw, in your face. It's going to be edgy at times because you're going to see some stuff that's just going to be... What are you going to... You're going to kind of frown and go, what? What the heck was that? But let me tell you something. I believe, and so does Josh, that God puts you at the right place at the right time to cross paths with somebody for a reason. There's no coincidence that you're right now watching this program that Josh and I have been put together, just recently put together. So I ask you to come along for the ride and enjoy it, but most importantly, pay attention to the message. It's really important. Don't forget, it's very raw, and you're going to see everything. You're going to see the parts that are going to be kind of like, what? That wasn't very done, done very well. Like right there, right that just then, okay? I happen to have ADD real bad. <laughs> so, and, uh, but you know what? I, I try, to, try to make it work for me. So, um, it's crazy. So does Josh. <laughs> throw yeah. me under the bus. Uh, throw... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> hey, the Bible says this about, clean, about being clean and stuff. You know, like my shirt today, put that shirt on about, you know, when I went to go put it on and I noticed the collar was dirty and it didn't smell very clean, clean and fresh. But ever since I've been in the military, I've always, like, worn things, like, maybe two or three times. And the reason being is because when the things are dry cleaned, to me, you can get, like, one or two dry, one or two wearings out of it, maybe more. But when I, went to, when I went to put the shirt on this morning, I thought to myself, wait a minute, the collar's filthy, it didn't smell very fresh. I took it off. It was nasty. It needed to be clean. Now, outward cleanliness is one thing. We can bathe, we can clean our bodies, we're clean. But internally, we need to be clean as well. This is important. We need to have clean thoughts. You need to guard your eye gate and guard your ear gate. It's real important what you take in with your eyes and with your ears. Be very cautious what you take in with your eyes and with your ears. Because if a man has lusted after a woman or a woman has lusted after a man, they've already performed the sin. That's the way that, that's what the Bible says. But it's important that you know what cleanliness is internally. And the Word of God says this in 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It's very important that you, if you do feel a desire to know Christ, that you cry out to Christ and you receive Him. It's real important. You just bow your head, close your eyes, say, God, I ask you to come into my life and be the Lord and Savior of my life, to forgive me my sins. He is merciful and just. His grace covers all sin. He will forgive you, and you are a born-again, spirit-filled believer. The Bible also says here, in Philippians 4, 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So if you put a request out to be known, be known to God, in other words, if, you've actually going, if you're going through something, you're distracted, you've got bills, you've got you know, the family to worry about, you've got stuff, you know, we all do. We all go through challenges and, and we all go through trials and stuff. But somebody once said that there's a trial in your treasure and there's a purpose for your pain. I've gone through some serious pain in the last four, three, four years. But let me tell you something. It's important that you not look back and that you look forward with the Lord in your heart and He will see you through this. Uh, brother, it's uh, treasure in your trial. Treasure. <laughs> you said trial in your treasure. Oh, thank you. It's okay. This is Keep very raw. That's very raw, yes. <laughs> like we said, it's raw. Yeah. I love it. Philippians 4.13, this is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, we can do all things in Christ who, th who strengthens us. That's an amazing scripture. That's important to remember because you can do all things in Christ who strengthens you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. You know, it's real important that we just, you know, with all kidding aside and, and all the other stuff that we are faced with and we have fun and we try to die to ourselves. We try to die to ego and pride. It's so important. You know, um, every day um, I'm faced with challenges. I'm faced with stuff. You're going to be faced with things, uh, you know, challenges in life for the, until, until the day you go home to heaven. But it's how you handle those challenges and how you handle the decisions that life throws at you. You know, we're all messed up. We're all sinners. The Bible says that we're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. So what's important is to acknowledge that we are sinners. We're going to sin, unfortunately. But strive to be obedient. It's so important to strive to be obedient. You know, if you truly do love your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, to nurture that relationship, you're going to communicate with them. You're going to love them. You're going to, you know, do what's right. You're not going to do anything that would jeopardize that relationship, or try not to at least. But the thing is this, if you don't nurture that relationship with Christ Jesus, if you don't just talk to Him, don't think you have to talk with these and thous and whatever else. Just talk to Him as if you're talking to me right now and as if I'm talking to you right now. It's as if I would be doing the same thing with God. 
It's important. He wants to have a relationship with his children. You are a child of God. So it's important to acknowledge that and remember that. So whatever it is you're going through today, I just want to remind you that there's never a hopeless situation with Christ Jesus. The most important thing in the world is to know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. The body that you're in right now, it's temporary. One day you're going to be in a heavenly body that has no imperfection whatsoever. If you have to wear glasses like I do, guess what? In heaven, there'll be no glasses. If you have to wear hearing aids like I don't, thank God, but if you did, and if you do, guess what? You're going to have perfect hearing in heaven, perfect vision. You're going to be in a heavenly body, a body of no imperfection. That's a beautiful thing. So here's, here's the thing I want to just encourage you to do. is just focus on your relationship with the Lord. It's real important. If you're not a believer, that's okay. You know what? Keep watching these programs, these little shows that we're going to be putting on YouTube. It's real, real important that Josh and I be able to share with you what, what's on our hearts and also enjoy the ride. So keep coming with us on the show here, the one-way ride. Enjoy it, and um, eventually there'll be an email that you can get a hold of us. You can actually email me at rocketwatson at rocketmail.com. That's R-O-C-K-E-T-W-A-T-S-O-N at rocketmail, M-A-I-L, dot com. And uh, my name is Will, and this is Josh behind you on the camera. Yes. So we encourage you again to uh, just keep following along with us and uh, let us know what you think. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.